How's it going everybody? My name is Just Jared and thanks for tuning in to What's Out There Gaming, a channel dedicated to covering games that you probably haven't heard about yet. Today we are going to be talking about a game I am incredibly excited for, a game titled Grip. Being developed by the small studio Caged Element for PC and later PS4, Grip is an intense combat racer with stunning graphics and extremely fast gameplay. Grip is inspired by the much older Roll Cage games that released back in 1999 and 2000. Caged Elements Combat Racer takes place in the far off future where illegal underground racing is immensely popular and to make a long story short, basically this racing becomes so popular that the racers and the huge fan base got into an all out war with the government, thus forcing the racers and the sport in its entirety to escape to exotic and dangerous locations to be able to continue driving high speeds and winning tons of money. Now I know that sounds totally off the wall, but like I said, that's an incredibly long story short, I will cover the entire backstory in a separate video. That was just the rundown. I could have just said that this is a combat racer that takes place in space and on crazy planets, but I wanted to give you some sort of information on exactly why, you know? Anyways, storylines aren't really what racing games are all about, and those who love racing games know that from Need for Speed The Run. Racing games are about gameplay and racing obviously, so let's dive into Grip's gameplay. So Grip is based off of the old Roll Cage games like I said, and just like those games, the cars in Grip have giant wheels, so basically if your car gets turned over, you can keep driving. In Grip you can drive on walls, ceilings, anything you can get your wheels down on. This automatically puts Grip in a category all on its own. There aren't many racing titles where you can drive on any surface, let alone combat racing titles. I'm pretty confident in saying Grip is definitely unique. In Grip you can blaze up to speeds of 500 miles per hour while racing other drivers on desert planets, iced over tundras, and many other locations across the galaxy. So you're racing at super speeds on exotic planets, driving on ceilings and walls, and jamming to the hardcore drum and bass that is Grip's soundtrack. I'm telling you, this game is intense, and we haven't even talked about the combat yet. Now the last combat racing game I think I played was Mario Kart, if you want to call that combat racing. And not the shiny, new, incredibly lame Mario Kart, I'm talking about the best Mario Kart, Double Dash. That's right, on the GameCube, the best console known to man. Now the combat in Grip is a lot like Mario Kart. Now I'm assuming you've played Mario Kart, if you haven't, I, I'm sorry, I guess? Anyways, the combat in Grip is like Mario Kart, except it's more like com combatier. Is, is that even a word? I don't even, hold on, hold on, let me get, let me get my dictionary. Mm-hmm, yep. Combatier, the act of having more combat. I knew, I knew I was smart. So yeah, you pick up items and weapons in the same way by driving over them, and you use them in the same way by shooting or interrupting other racers. But in Grip, instead of red turtle shells, you get homing missiles, and instead of bananas, you get Quaker Mines. There's a myriad of pickups in Grip that differ hugely from Mario Kart, so I don't think they are one and the same at all. I just used it for an example. Now, apart from machine guns and rockets, there's also another gameplay mechanic in Grip that will make races even more crazier. In Grip, there are certain ways you can interact with the environment. For example, you can shoot a missile at a building, blow it up, and make concrete and rocks fall onto unexpecting racers. Now this mechanic is in another combat racing game that is probably my all time favorite, and that game is called Split Second. In Split Second, you were able to knock buildings over onto the track and blow up the environment to your liking. Not sure if Grip will focus on this mechanic as a huge gameplay element like Split Second did, but it is part of the game. Grip will also feature many different cars as you make your way up the Grip ranks and earn money to purchase them. Caged Element promises that vehicles in Grip will also be highly customizable and upgradable, with different paint jobs, rims, wheels, and body armor kits to choose from. There is also many game modes in Grip as well. You've got your regular racing, you've got career, time trial, arena, a bunch of others. With Grip's super fast racing, unique gameplay, and brutal combat, coupled with the remarkable visuals and awesome music, I cannot wait to see what Grip looks and plays like when it is all said and done. Right now, Grip is in early access, so you can actually buy it on Steam for about 16 bucks if you want to have access and be able to try it out for yourself. Once again, it is early access, so it's not a full game, but with it you have access to a few cars, a few maps, some modes to play, 
I highly recommend checking it out, just make sure your PC is able to run it. Also, online multiplayer is not available right now, but will be soon, and once grip is complete, there will actually be split screen for up to four players, which is awesome. Split screen is unfortunately a thing of the past and isn't implemented in games much anymore due to online play, so I'm happy to see Caged Element plan to include it in grip. Probably my favorite Mario Kart moments were beating down my friends right next to me. That's the best feeling you don't even know, or maybe you do, it's amazing. Anyways, once again, Grip will release on PC and later PS4, but there's no specific release date as of yet. I will leave a link to Grip's official website and their Twitter in the description box below. Stay tuned to What's Out There Gaming for more coverage of Grip, including videos detailing Grip's power-ups, backstory, game modes, as well as any other news that releases related to Cage Element's upcoming combat racing title. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me, that would be awesome, and subscribe if you want to keep up to date on what's out there in the gaming world. My name has been Just Jared, until next time, peace out.